So this is the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and it's been basically the best Samsung phone you could buy all year. The new kid on the block is the Galaxy Z Fold 6, and it's trying to take that crown as one of the best Samsungs you could buy right now. So let's see which one is faster in the S24 Ultra versus Galaxy Z Fold 6 speed test. So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology. Let's begin this test with a boot up in three, two, go, and see which one get there first. Now, if you pay attention, look at these phones. Like they have that same rectangular look. The Z Fold 6, definitely more compact, but they generally have that same look. I like that. It's kind of like very cohesive. The whole entire Samsung ecosystem, they're kind of getting all their phones to look similar and similar, you know, accessories, stuff like that. Z Fold boots up faster than the S24 Ultra. Now that's funny because the iPhone 15 Pro Max, even on iOS 18 Beta 3, was able to boot up pretty much a, a good amount quicker than the Z Fold 6, which means it probably will boot up faster than the Galaxy S24 Ultra, but that win goes to the Z Fold 6. All right, so this one is interesting with the biometrics because it's a little bit different. On the S24 Ultra, it's within the screen here, and then over here, it doubles on the power button. So let's see which one could actually do this a little bit quicker in three, two, go. And pretty similar. Let's do it again in three, two, go. Just a different unlocking mechanism. I will say that the Z Fold is probably easier to unlock without looking at it because you can literally like, have this in your pocket, already be pulling it out like that and be in. So let's say it's your pocket, bring it up, click the button, just place your finger right there and you're in that phone. Whereas this one, you could probably get away with it as well if you know exactly where it's at, but you'll probably end up tapping it once you get it out of your pocket, but it is possible. Both of them have really good fingerprint unlocks. You can also use face unlock on both of these, no major issues. And you can also use it on the inner display for the Galaxy Z Fold 6. So biometrically speaking, great options here. Nice different ways to unlock as well. All right, guys, when generally going through both on One UI 6.1.1, and you'll see really smooth here. The S24 Ultra remains probably one of the best, if not the best phones you can buy today. Now, I'm talking about in the U.S. market. Some markets have some nice other phones out there that uh, definitely would give this phone a great run for its money. But over here in the US, we basically got the iPhone, the Pixel, and the Samsung S20 line, S24 line. Let's go ahead and raise that brightness up, and you could see on the Z Fold, still quite nice. I still feel that crease right there. It's still, I don't like the way that feels. Like, when I'm swiping through the display, it just feels like I'm going over this little divot. And I feel like the OnePlus Open did better with this. I didn't feel it as much. This one, it feels like this like little bump, like going on my finger, a little wave. Now I know a lot of people don't care. You can only see it on this direct angle, but Samsung, you gotta, you gotta fix this already. When are we gonna get this crease less? Let's just put it that way, less. On the front screen, they also made it a little bit wider, so it is definitely more comfortable to use, but generally speaking, going through the One UI is pretty similar on both phones. So before we do the app test, I'm actually gonna do the Geekbench 6 test first, and I'm gonna do it on the main screen here for both of them, both Android 14, both Snapdragon 8 Gen 3s, and both 12 gigabytes of RAM with the same GPUs. I'll be back when they're done. So we're wrapping up here, and the S24 Ultra finishes nearly at the same time. A 2302 on the single core, 7112 on the multi-core, 2231 on the single for the Z Fold 6, and 6890 on the multi-core for the Z Fold 6. So here in this initial Geekbench test, before we opened up all the applications, actually won it out here for the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Let's close everything out now. Everything is closed for both phones. And let me go ahead and open up the Z Fold 6 and we'll get into the tap test. All right, so here we are with the application test. Everything closed out for both phones. Let's begin with calendar. You can see exactly identical performance. We'll swipe up out of there. We'll go into clock, identical. And I mean, this one right here, Unlike some of my other ones, which are pretty close most of the time, this one looks like exactly the same. Let's go into calculator, like literally exactly the same, the same animations. Let's go into weather. Look at that. Look at that space on the Z Fold 6. You got that extra space to see all the other temp. You have to do more scrolling on the S24 Ultra. 
However, the Z Fold 6 can be impractical sometimes. On the inner display when out and about, you'll have to use a smaller display because it's just too wide sometimes. But when you're chilling on the couch or at night in bed and you just want to consume some content, it's like a little mini tablet. Let's go into Play Store on both. Bang. And the Z Fold 6 loads at about the same time. Let's get up out of there. We're going to Instagram. Now, this is going to load the tablet version. And we still loaded it first on the Z Fold 6. Let's click this. Look at that size of the image. However, you'll see even though the image is large, which is nice, we can still see the description here. Then I had to scroll down to see the description there. Let's go into Starbucks. And I think that was S24 Ultra. Let me click settings here. I think I have this on natural mode. That's why this one looks so much more vivid. Let me click vivid to make this look a little more equal with the vividness. Do I have extra dim on? No, this looks a little dimmer today. Let's go into Groupon. You'll see that was about the same time. You know what I actually want? I'm going to tell you what I want or definitely desire into the next fold. And they're already doing this with other brands. Some Chinese makes are actually doing this. This size of a screen or near this size of a screen on the front. Let's make the Z Fold like the S24 Ultra. If we, if we could figure out a way to do that while keeping it light, we'll have a super, super winner. Because what I miss about the S24 Ultra when using the Z Fold 6 is the display size. So when I go to the front, it's just smaller. Let's go into Amazon on both. And you can see, I didn't see a massive difference, did you? Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. And one of these has the volume on. It is the Z Fold. <laughs> Let's go over here. And the S24 Ultra loads up Jetpack first. Both of these are actually great gaming phones to play games on. Um, they're not like the best gaming phones out there. Like there's a dedicated gaming machines uh, phones out there. But these right here, let's go into Subway Surfers on both. These right here are pretty darn good in terms of their screen size, their power, the GPUs. Samsung S24 Ultra had that on the game. The Z Fold is just an amazing experience with that wide display on video games or, well, not really video games, these smartphone based games. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2. But still, I mean, I'm still going to rather play games on a bigger screen like uh, actual game system. But in a pinch on the go, the Z Fold is really good, as is the S24 Ultra. But I would probably pick the Z Fold, if I'm being real with you, for gaming specifically. Uh, just because that inner display is just huge. You want the most screen space you can get for games. So over there, S24 Ultra. And then the Z Fold 6. For some reason, the S24 Ultra is loading up the games faster. Maybe a little bit more power there on the S24 Ultra. Or maybe it's because the display is a foldable on the uh, bigger content to load. Maybe that could be it. Let's go into Free Fire. But you've seen on the Geekbench 6, even on the front cover display, it was still a lower score on the Z Fold 6. So maybe Samsung's keeping the S24 Ultra their best of the best, though, while just making this their best foldable over here let's go over here we'll swipe it around he looks really the character here he looks really large here he looks small over here on the left let's go into PUBG mob and we'll see what happens here and it looks like when they launch it looks like it's doing it about the same time but then when we start loading in s24 ultra seems to take the lead a little bit there's more of an anti-reflective coating though on the galaxy s24 ultra which makes it look a little bit nicer and looks like I have to log back in here all right yeah we're having like a little issue here on these let me go ahead and reload this all right so let's launch PUBG here three two go and see what happens here I think I'm not sure if it lets me load it both at the same time it might time out one because I'm logging in on the other but the S24 Ultra was faster. We're already here to the the screen where you log in. So yeah, I think it's giving me that issue because I have, I'm already on this phone. I'm already on one of these phones over here. But you've seen generally that the S24 Ultra was loading it first. So I'm gonna actually give the win, is it okay? Yeah, see this is telling me your account's already in use. So I can't actually get in on the Z Fold due to this one being on, on this one as well. Yeah, so it's timing me out, but 
When we initially loaded it, the S24 Ultra was loading at first. Let's go into speed test. And you can see pretty much the same. We'll go into InShot. Pretty much the same. Geekbench 6, pretty much the same. And 3D Mark, pretty much the same again. So the games pulled ahead a little bit in the S24 Ultra, but other than that, it was about the same across the board. But that was interesting that the S24 Ultra seems to be a little bit uh, faster when it comes to the games. Let's check the clock speeds. Same clock speed, so I don't know what that's about. I don't know why the S24 Ultra was loading the more intensive games fast. So let's run through the RAM management here and see how they perform. Pretty darn good here for the S24 Ultra. This has been my favorite Samsung phone ever. For performance, it's been ridiculous good let's get up out of here still has a little bit of um choppiness though like with the animations sometimes i wouldn't call it slow or anything like that just sometimes it doesn't look as smooth as it can i still think they could do a little bit of smoothing out on the animations they're doing really good they've been much better than last year but there's still some times where it just can look like not as smooth as i would like it to Let's go into the Galaxy Z Fold 6 over here, and we'll hit 3D Mark, InShot, Speed Test. But the non-linear animations they brought this year was a real big jump to Samsung line. And you'll see Subway Surfers over here. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. This one's a little harder to get the finger underneath because they have like this little part right here, and the bezel is really thin. So if it looks like I'm missing a little, it's because of that. Let's go into weather, calculator, and you could just tell when tapping the display that the Z Fold 6 is just a much more uh, delicate display. It's like a plastic panel. It doesn't feel as like strong as the S24 Ultra. So you still gotta be careful with this one. It's still not no super, super durable, strong phone. It's better than the previous foldables, but it's still a Z Fold. It's not like a super sturdy S24 Ultra, but in terms of the RAM management, both of them did about the same. All right, so let's go to samsung.com here in the internet. We're gonna check the browsing here and look how much more content is displayed there for the Z Fold 6. And yeah, you have about one day to go ahead and pre-order the rest of these things. You know, these still are gonna be a pretty good deal even after this ends. They're probably gonna retain some really good deals throughout the year. Samsung usually does that, but you can see just super smooth browsing on both. However, I feel like on the Z Fold, I'm looking at a full tablet, basically. Like the way it displays content is much more like a Samsung Tab S9, something like that, versus this is just pure phone. But this is how it would look if you were on the cover display of the Galaxy Z Fold 6. All right, so let's go to another website. How about yahoo.com, three, two, go. You can see, even though the Z Fold is loading up more, content it still did it a little faster i wouldn't say more content just in a more tech or more in a tablet version but see scrolling is good on the samsung internet pinch to zooming is good so no major issues both of them are going to browse fantastically so 3d mark is done and we got an average frame rate of 25.89 for the samsung s24 ultra 20.08 on the z fold 6 with a about a thousand less on the score very strange. Some people said they're getting better scores than me in this test. Samsung S24 Ultra doing better on 89% and 74% on the right. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to run this test one more time. It was requested for me to run this on the cover display. Uh, they said running it on the inside. Someone was saying that it gives them a different score. I'm going to try that here and see if the scores are any different. So I'll be back with another 3D Mark rerun. All right, so I ran it here on the cover display, reran the test, and it's even lower this time for the Z Fold 6, 18.89 average frame, and scoring better than 70% of devices. The S24 Ultra is still around that same 42.56, 25.49, pretty much the same. So the only thing I can think of is maybe the Z Fold throttling, or maybe it's getting too warm, I don't know exactly what's happening here, but both times here, it got a worse score than the S24 Ultra, even with the same chip and same RAM. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at the cameras here on both phones. Three, two, go. See the S24 Ultra, did it launch that first? Let me go ahead and try that again. Three, two, go. Yeah, it did, and we have more zoom. So camera beast is the S24 Ultra. Three, two, go. Pretty similar. Let's check that shutter speed right now. Three, two, go. Go. We'll hit the, the zoom here. Zooming is about the same. 
I found the zooming mechanism to be smoother on the iPhones, but overall, entering the camera is pretty much the same. You can also do this like double click on these Samsung phones to get into the camera, super nice there. You can flip like this to go to the front camera, flip it back around. You can use your hand to do a palm gesture to take a selfie, pretty nice ways to take shots there. Overall though, it looks like the S24 Ultra Z Fold pretty close in that camera department. Maybe Samsung's just keeping the S24 Ultra their most fastest phone, I don't know. What's going on there? Let me know if you know down below. But yeah, that's about it here. Wrapping it up, the S24 Ultra, definitely a very, very quick phone indeed. And I think it takes down the Z Fold 6 today. So Z Fold 6 still an amazing foldable, super fast. It's near the same as the S24 Ultra, but just a little bit behind according to what we've seen here today. Maybe that'll change in an update. I don't know. Uh, but definitely these are the two best Samsung phones I feel like money can buy today. Let me know if you agree with that down below in the comment section of this video. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, and informing, click the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace. Mm -hmm.